Hello. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello. I have um, I have an orange. I was eating an orange. It was my breakfast. While I wait for lunch to be done. So happy Monday. How was everybody? Excitingly, three of my mods got updated, so I'm gonna download the updates. My Monday's good. I, I I woke up. I uh, took a shower. I went out and got some more water and saw that dad was cooking food, so kind of waiting for lunch to be done. I ate an orange and I'm starting stream. What a good Monday so far. How's your Monday?
good, but work was busy as hell. Oh, I'm sorry for you. I mean, at least you get to chillax today. Just listen to me play Stardew Valley. I might go grab another orange. It was very good. I love I love the little oranges. Little cuties. Very juicy. They are so good. I love them with cheese. Like you eat them together with cheese or you eat one and then you'll like have some cheese after. You'll eat them with- you are a monster. <laughs> it's like that Ratatouille moment in the movie where he eats a strawberry with some cheese. It just sounds really gross. <laughs> no, nasty, disgusting. Um, just double checking some mods to see if they've been updated yet, and then...
Doesn't look like it. Okay. I did add one new mod. Um, let's see if you guys notice it. I need to deploy. I'm so tempted to go grab another orange. again. Oh yes, hello Steam. I forgot to launch Steam. I was missing something. I just received an thingy from Smappy that I can update my um, UI info suite mod. So I'm gonna do that because that's important. That's the one mod I didn't check and I should have. Dum 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 dum. today because it's super cloudy outside so it's like really it's like uh really bright but not like in a ah the sun is in my eyes kind of way Got Stardew Valley. Imagine if I played it like this. Um. Can you hear the game?
I know, are they like gone forever? All because I resized the window. Rip. Rip a Juni Mo's. So we're on the last three days of spring, as you can see. It's Emily's birthday, but before we get into too much of anything, I've got some things that needs to be changed via my mod configs. We're gonna get another harvest out of these, unfortunately. It's Emily's birthday. What does she like? Oh, I could give her an amethyst if I have an extra. an extra. game can't be really heard. Hello chickens. Which... set this off to the side right now so that we can just kind of stockpile on eggs and make more mayonnaise um, in a in like big batches <laughs> and I might actually bring that outside to be honest because I'm wondering if it's affecting egg spawn space all right I forgot So I know eggs don't spawn there, I think. So we can put that there, and then we can just kind of like set this in the corner. Here we go. Hopefully to not affect egg spawns. So what should our activity be today? I think we'll do some fishing. Fishing sounds good.
I learned something. You can fish in this fountain and you'll only get wood, rocks, and trash out of it. Like, I think a full on trash bin. Way. Um, but yeah, you can fish out of that. You can't even see me, Lewis. Scene. Oh, okay. It's this cutscene. Uh, I always clean under the cushions. It's your turn this week. You're being childish, Haley. I do the vast majority of work in this house, and you know it. Hello, ladies. Oh, it's that new girl from the farm. She has a name, you know. Yes, do you know it? <laughs> Hey, I bet you'll understand my point of view here. Oh god. <sighs> I'm really sorry to involve you in this splash. Haley is complaining because I asked her to clean under the cushions. It's only because I cleaned them last week. Haley, why not have this be your one weekly job? Alright, you win. I guess this can be my one job every week. Then there won't be any reason to argue over it. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks, Splash. That was a great solution. Yeah, you're welcome. Are you in your room? Oh, you're already out. Just use this chair to... Oh, wait, no, she's in her house. <gasps> For me, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Come out of your room. I would like to give you your birthday gift. in the fountain. Oh, I'm sorry, Haley. Am I in your way? You get like 3 XP for every item you pull out of this. Oh, she should be at like work now, right? In the saloon or on her way.
Oh, you remember my birthday. Thanks, Wash. That's really nice of you. Yes, you're welcome. Happy birthday. Fun little mod. Nice. Let's see, can you guys still hear the game? Hello! Welcome to stream! I'm just uh, raising the audio for the game to see if it's too quiet.
It would have been a perfect if that bottom if that bar didn't bounce at the bottom. Dang. We're fishing just for the halibut. Ha ha ha. I'm actually hoping to get a lot of seaweed, but that isn't seeming to be the case. I'm hoping this amount of fish will be enough to get me quite a bit of money. I think I'll spend the last day of spring chopping down a lot of trees on my farm. Ooh, I love this mod. <laughs> Messed up. This mod, um, paired with the visible fish mod, makes it look like the fish are swimming in the cosmos, and I find that to be so cool. I thought that it's getting late was the 
fish notification. <laughs> Just one more fish. There we go. So it says that I need the sardine for the ocean fishing bundle. Pretty sure I already have sardines in a box, but I'll go double check when I get to my farm. Regular sardine. Cut it really close there. Ooh. Wait, I can click this? Oh. Hmm. I made 2,000 off of the mayonnaise. And then another almost 2,000 off of fishing alone. That's so good. Last day of spring. Pet the dog. Uh, learn today's recipe. Greetings. It is I, the queen of sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, omelet. This is such a simple dish, but so often done incorrectly. A perfect omelet is a thing of beauty. It's a pure golden angel of gleaming egg, and I'm going to show you my secret method. And I learned how to cook the omelet. Okay, so it's a decent luck day. We're gonna go see what the traveling merchant is selling. I think we're gonna go to Clint and get my axe upgraded. No, we'll do that another time. We'll do that first day of summer, because I want to spend my day chopping down my trees. Um, let's see. Because I need more wood. We'll craft two of these.
There we go. Um... So all of this, and I do mean all of it, except for that. Get put in here. This is the new mines chest. I could only label them, that'd be nice. Um, let's go pet our chickens. Let's go see what the lady in the traveling cart is selling. Garlic seeds, cheese, carp, a chub, some corn, a cherry, some hog starters, and buy the rare seed. A new hat. I'll buy the hop starter. So at least I have one. Just see if Hat Mouse is selling any new hats. Selling any new hats, Poke? Oh, you are. Um, since summer's coming around, why not the watermelon band? Looking cute. We'll change your hats with the season. Oh, this is what I was talking about. If you see trees like this in Cindersap Forest that are, like, green, if you, uh, hit them, you get moss.
Yeah, that's very cool. I don't know what it's used for outside of moss soup. in here. what happens on your farm too nice stuff that needs to be donated to Gunther in it. Make it yellow. Oh, Clay, thanks. You smell rice. It smells really good. Yeah, soup. I don't know about you, but moss soup doesn't sound entirely appetizing to me. But, um, if I go into my collections with recipes for cooking, it gives you 70 energy. It's thick and slimy, but edible. Ew!
I got a green jacket shirt. Is this from like me cutting the blue grass? Inspired by the mallard's coat, the shirt can be dyed. don't really have much else going for me, so I guess I could go into the mines really fast for the rest of the night. Go buy some snacks from Gun uh, Gus, not Gunther. two of these for gifting people. I'll buy three coffees. And five salads. There you go, Pam. No, don't drink that. There you go, Shane. Drink a coffee and eat a salad. And now we're zooming. <laughs> okay, you have your dinner. Enjoy. Nothing but soot sprites on this floor. Ladder, please. Ew.
Ah, oh, there it is. Ooh, crystal fruit. Nice. Perish. Thank you. There's nothing here for me. And it's 1 a.m. I gotta get out. Oh, gosh, why? I don't think I'm gonna make it. There is a setting in the game now that you can make it so that time goes by a lot slower. Uh, not that much has been taken from me, that's good. And it's summertime. Welcome to the beginning of summer, everybody. Take this and this. sprinklers yet? I mean, I can make the normal ones. The little itty bitty ones. Um. I'll just manually water everything.
<laughs> okay, you found me incapacitated on my farm? What the heck were they doing on my farm? <laughs> okay, dear Miss Splash, last night a Jojo member found you incapacitated. A medical team was dispatched to bring you home safely. We're glad you're okay. You've been billed 143G for the service. Dear Slush, how is the country life going for you? It's been lonely here without you, but I'm proud of what you're doing. Love, Dad. P.S. Found an envelope with some money Grandpa left for you. 500G in clothes. Awesome! Thanks, Dad! Hello, Chili. That looks so good. Hello, chickens. Need to refill their hay. We'll take our axe to be upgraded since it's the start of spring. Um, we've got enough iron bars that we can get our pickaxe upgraded too, so we'll do that sometime soon. Very nice. Oh, before we get, let's grab all of this to donate as well since we're gonna be down there. That's a 2000G. I'm special.
Hello, Gunther. Um... You got a reward for me. A painting? Thank you very much. Them being able to detect you digging through trash is so ridiculous, in my opinion. Like, what is your range? How could you see me when you're way past the front of the saloon? Okay, let's buy... Since we can't upgrade, we'll buy... Nine of these. At the end, or well, nearly, I think, kind of like halfway through to near the end of spring or summer, I'll buy one of these and one of these as well. We, I think we'll buy corn and wheat since they carry over into the next season, so it would be just good to like stock up on those near the end of the season. Hello, it's Robin. Could someone bring me 25 pieces of wood? They need to be fresh. That means gathered today. Thanks. Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Should be no biggie. how Evelyn sees you with those old lady eyes. Yeah, genuinely? <laughs> it's like, ma'am, you're in front of the saloon. There's no way, in any way possible, in which that you would be able to see me digging through the trash. Um... Let's put this aside because I want to get this upgrade in and I want to remember that. So we can put that away. Eat one of these. Go chop a tree. Or two. Ski doodles. Let's go deliver that before she like leaves her shop. Looks like you got the lumber asked for. Thank you. You're welcome. I can go get a special prize from the prize machine. 
and that's an easy 200G. That's nice. I didn't... Okay, I did buy more seeds. Okay. Um, we'll plant these with the star fruit, because why not? I think... Two of those... There's no good place to put this. <laughs> That's fine. There should be more than enough space for them to grow, but I'll space them out even farther if I need to. Actually, I'm very worried that it's not, so I will space them out farther. <laughs> one, two. There we go. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. There. Which farm type is that? I was thinking of starting a new starter save file and the lookout here is looking nice. It's the new meadow farm that comes with 1.6. I'm playing with mods, um, if that wasn't very obvious, but I, it's not anything that changes anything about the gameplay in a sense. Not anything that does anything super drastic. The only mod that I have that does something super drastic is automate, and that's just because I forget things so it's just easier for me to like have something like that for myself. Um, but everything else I have installed is pretty much visual. Oh, that's not true. I have Easy Fishing Suite, which is also something for mainly for myself. Because um, I'm bad at the minigame. Uh, I think we can expend the rest of our energy just kind of clearing this up even more.
another level into some foraging, or I'm assuming foraging. I could be wrong. Yes! I got the tapper. That's exactly what I was planting my uh, trees for. And the mushroom log. That's new. I wonder if it just continuously makes mushrooms. Oh, it's a really good luck day. We gotta go to the mines. Um, that being said, let's take a look at our new crafting recipe. It takes 10 hardwood, grows mushrooms every so often. The more wild trees are nearby, the better it works. Hmm. So like you want this in like a grove of just trees. Okay. I mean, I guess this is like an alternative if you get the fruit bat cave. I always get the mushroom cave, because I think the mushroom cave is good. I like planting the fruit trees. What's it take to crank? 40 wood and 3 iron bars to make a crab pot. There we go. Pet and water the dog. use the beach farm because it looks nice but I heard like it's a, like really bad gameplay wise I mean the beach farm has its perks like you get the um, the loot boxes that wash up on the shore of your beach every so often and seaweed can wash up on the shore of your beach the only thing that makes it difficult is the fact that it's hard to farm on it you can't use sprinklers at all because it's sand and not soil Um, but that's pretty much it. Gameplay-wise, the beach farm, I think, is just fine. All of the farms are really nice in their own way. People will tell you, like, the worst farm out there is probably, like, the hilltop farm or whatever, because there isn't a whole lot of farming space, but it's, like, whatever, dude. Whatever your preference is. I used to really like the forest farm. It was my favorite, purely because of, like, the forest forageables and... Uh, all the, the the trees and stuff, but like you didn't have a whole lot of space to farm, which I didn't really care about because I don't need a whole lot of space to farm. Um, and the Meadowlands farm is kind of like the forest farm in a sense. There isn't a whole lot of space to farm, but you do start with a chicken coop, and instead of starting with parsnips, you get uh, fifteen hay to feed your chickens, obviously. But yeah, uh, all farms are good. It just matters on what your preference is. That's all. I'm gonna pet the chickens. Grab their eggs. They're giving me large eggs now, just continuously. I wonder if that's due to my friendship with them. Might be. Yeah, they're starting to grow. That's good. Dang. Words of wisdom. Yeah, I mean, like, when people tell you something is bad, it's just because they're not good at utilizing the thing that they think is bad, usually. 
Unless it's actually really bad. But in like, in most cases when it comes to games and people will be like, Oh, like, this weapon that you're using is bad, it's trash, it's awful. And it's like, well, maybe you just don't know how to use it because I do really good with it. We can put the watering can away. Um, and I said we were gonna go to the mines because it's a good luck day. But I don't want to because we're pretty far in. I'd rather get my pickaxe upgraded soonish, so I'm gonna go fishing so I can get the money to do that. Plus, we'll be catching the new fish from the season, which is awesome. I'll also say, like, people will constantly ask if it's okay to cheat in games and stuff, and it's like, if it's what you need to do, Especially if it's a single player game. First of all, I should specify if it's a single player game. Um, if it's what you need to do to enjoy yourself and to have fun, then cheat away. If you're playing with friends, ask them if it's okay with them. And then, like, cheat if it's to have fun. Because, like, the whole point of playing games is to have fun. It's not to stress yourself out or anything. see it a lot. Like, I was looking at the uh, Project Zomboid subreddit, because I love Project Zomboid, but uh, like many zombie games, the gameplay loop gets kind of stale. Anyways, someone had made a post on the reddit and they were just like, I died because I fell through the roof of this building because I didn't know that the tile was not actually there. Um, so I cheated to get my skills and stuff back. Is that it, like, well, like, they gave themselves the stuff back and they were like, is this considered, like, really bad cheating? Should I have not done that? And everybody was just like, yeah, um, no one really cares. Like, if that's what you need to do to have fun, if you find that that death was unfair, which in my opinion sounds pretty unfair, uh, cheat away, bro. me when I time travel in Animal Crossing. Dude, I time travel in Animal Crossing all the time. I started playing New Horizons, and it's just like, I could wait for the next day to roll over in real life, but like, if I'm wanting to get stuff done, like I'm moving stuff, like buildings around, or I'm waiting for something specific or something like that, I time travel. Because I'm, that's how I have my fun. Besides, in most cases, when I time travel forward, I'll go back in time to be on the same day. Um, and that's purely just because, like, I get confused. I confuse myself when I do that. <laughs> I'll, like, time travel forward and then I'm like, oh, I should time travel back to this, what today is and the, the actual time. Because if I don't, otherwise, the next time I boot up my Switch, I'm going to be like, is it actually Saturday when it's, like, Tuesday? But yeah, like if I ever buy turnips, I will time travel forward because I am not waiting. <laughs> I'm not. I just, 
I my sleep schedule is all kinds of weird, so it's just a disaster for me to do that otherwise. <laughs> It's another pike. I want this fish. I'm assuming that's like a rainbow trout or something. Heck yeah. Okay, I think we caught all of the new fish that are in the river as of at the moment. We can go down to the beach. Summer squash seeds. I'm gonna plant those. Sea jelly. Actually, I'll eat that right now. These were kept as pets long ago. Huh. I return. Welcome back. How was your dinner? I think I see a super cucumber, which if I could catch one of those, that would be super pog.
Was the treasure worth it? Kinda. Ooh, bubbles. I don't know if I'll be able to reach them from here. Ah! I should have bought more coffee. No, they went away! Man, shortest lifespan of bubbles ever. Was very good. Had chicken, rice, and broccoli. Teriyaki sauce. Huh, ah, sounds good. I'm going to be having um, steak and potatoes with rice when I'm done streaming. Sea jelly. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I want this super cucumber. More seaweed. Awesome. You'll love to see it. over here and see if I can't catch it on the side. Super cucumbers in space! Getting one of these would be really cool. Because then if I get a fish pond, I can put it in the fish pond. Yes! Okay, that's all I wanted. Oh god, will I have time to go up? to the mountains and fish there for a little bit. I mean, it's 10.50. Did I check all the trash bins? I did. Okay. Is there anything new up here? It all looks like the same fish to me. We'll just catch one fish. <laughs> Extraordinary pickle. <laughs> yeah? Oh no, I messed up.
And easy. No, it looks like nothing new up here. Am I gonna make it? One of those. That guy and that guy. Oh, that doesn't go in there. We'll go to sleep and then we'll just sell everything tomorrow. There's an earthquake during the night. Oh no. I learned how to make the bait maker. I have the spinner recipe, the trap bubber, and the sonite bubber. Sonar. Sonar bubber. <laughs> bubber. Splash, this is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. I'm telling you because I think I can trust you. If you find them, bring them back to me discreetly. I'll pay well. Thanks, Mayor Lewis. Yeah, okay, bud. I don't know why you would just... I don't know what that earthquake did. I don't know what the earthquake does, to be honest. Out of water. Pet the chickens. Hello, chickies. Since I'm over here, pick up the eggs and put them away. That's not an egg. Wait, what do earthquakes do in this game again? I forgot. I don't know. I genuinely. I couldn't tell you. I have no idea what the heck an earthquake does. I think it like has a chance to like ruin your crops, I guess. But other than that, I don't know. Water the dog. Um, let's sell these guys. get the cash tomorrow, but for now, what should we do for today? Massive landslide, your farm is now in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> that would suck. Um, pours water on dog. That's not what I mean by water the dog. I guess we could do some more fishing today.
Only Pike inhabit this lake? The dog is a growing boy. Water him. But he's not a plant. You, Well, I mean, you don't directly water the dog. You put water in a bowl for the dog. <laughs> Only pike in the lake. A, a fish. Game has such a boppin' soundtrack. This must be the pike. I'm getting so good at recognizing the patterns of difficult fish. Well, whatever that fish is, I think it's a goldfish. That's how they made Clifford. <laughs> Wait, he'll he'll grow. It's the super secret growing dog glitch. That's how they make Clifford. Okay. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't know if that's exactly true. <laughs> Let alone the fact that I don't want a really big dog that I could barely put in my house. <laughs> Give me this fish, please. Ooh, new bobber. 
bubble kerwa. back to that. <laughs> My goodness, okay. Yeah, actually, you know, cleaning up after a big dog may not be the most pleasant thing. Didn't think of that. Yeah, you know, like, you know how people talk about, like, having a horse is cool and all until you have to clean up its poop and it's just, it's the most awful thing in the world. It's kind of like that. I just, I don't want a big dog. I don't want a big, big dog that I can't I have to like to get like a like a tractor to clean up its poop. <laughs> you know, like construction equipment. I'll get you one day, fish. Mysterious fish that I think is a goldfish. Another sweet pea. What do I need for the... I need a tomato, a blueberry, and a summer squash for the summer crops bundle. Uh, and then I need just grapes and spice berries and sweet peas. Okay. Oh, there's a spice berry right there.
Uh, excuse me. Uh, we'll put these in here. The rest of this can be sold. Keep the sweet pea around just in case. Okay, so... I need to go repair that bridge, um, eventually. Need to make tappers. I should probably make some tappers, actually, in preparation. I'll need two, four, six, and it's 40 wood each. Oh, it's two copper bars per, so... Twelve? Two, three, four, five... Five! Heck, okay. Six. Twenty-five wood and stone and an iron bar. I could make a recycling machine. I can do that too. Twenty-five wood. Stop it here for now, I think. the night. Make a casual 3,000 off of fishing alone. <laughs> there will be rain tomorrow and that's green. Interesting. It's Jass's birthday, and it's a really terrible luck day. <laughs> uh, that was a nice nap. Hi, son. Welcome to stream. Welcome, uh, Pew Pew. Uh, he guys caught me at a time in which I'm going to take a small break. I'm going to go get some food because I'm starving, and we'll continue. I promise. So. Oh, yes, it'll be my first green rain because it's the first it's the first year. Anyways, I'll be right back guys. I'm gonna go get some food. You guys get some snacks, uh get some drinks, get comfy. And uh we'll we'll reconvene to continue our Stardew adventure into summer.
Okay, I'm back. It was really good. <laughs> I'm still hungry, but it was enough to tide me over for now. I'm all full of energy. Um, let's see. Hello. Um, plant all the fruit trees. I will try. I don't have very much money. That's what the fishing is for. Um, coffee break. Chat, what I miss? Stardew Valley. Yeah, pretty much. Um, not a whole lot happened. So, I finished up the last days of spring. Very uneventful. I guess you'll have to rewatch the VOD. Heck yeah. But, yeah, not a whole lot happened. Um, just finished up the last of spring and then the start of summer. Planted crops, went fishing. Uh, earthquake happened. Don't know what that does, to be honest. And that's pretty much it. So today is Jas's birthday. Come by the shop and check out the new rods I'm selling. They're the best money can buy. And you can customize them with different kinds of tackle. Hope to see you soon. Okay. Pet the dog. Give the dog water. I will stop saying water the dog. Pet the chickens. And water crops. Melon. But the doggo needed to be watered. I did water the dog, but not like I didn't put water on the dog. I gave the wa the dog water. The dog was watered. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. <laughs> I am so good at this. I hit E while I was inside of OBS, and apparently that goes to my stream end screen. I meant to hit another button, but it's fine. So, I think I'm gonna clear out some space. <clears throat> Excuse me. For some fish ponds. I want to get at least two if I can afford it. But I still need to get like two more pieces of seaweed. And I need 300 wood. So. There's a bug flying around my room. It's gone now. <laughs> oh, and it's Jess's birthday. She likes pearls, pink cake, plum pudding, prismatic shards, rabbit's feet, strange dolls, strange dolls. Okay, um, I can give her a daffodil and call it good. <laughs>
Where is Jess? Is she still at Marnie's? wait for her to come out of her room like a weirdo. I'm guessing that like love chart thing is a mod. Um, yeah, so there's a mod called Look Up Anything or Everything. I think it's Look Up Any Anything. And if you uh, hover over like an NPC or um, an item in Stardew Valley and press F1 on your keyboard, it opens up basically like what you would see on a wiki page. Which is super helpful, because I don't want to tab away from my game frequently to go look up something on the wiki page. So like, I can press F1 on the daffodil and it'll tell me all of the stuff that you would see on a wiki page. And then it also tells you if you own them or not. I want fish ponds so bad. <laughs> I want to put that super cucumber in a fish pond. And I want another fish pond to put like a clam or something in. Because they have a, cha a great chance of giving you um, more seaweed, which would be super useful. Hello, kiddo. Happy birthday. Wow, birthday present. I love it. Yeah, happy birthday. Okay. <laughs> very neat. Read it upvoted. <laughs> it's a very handy mod. I like it a lot. I mean, like, all of the mods that I you'll see me play with are wads that I just I would absolutely recommend endorse throw at you because I like them they're very useful and they function <laughs> the way that I intend them to Clams equal seaweed, oysters equal pearls, super cucumber, iridium. Yeah. That's what I want the super cucumber for. Um, I have one. I caught one last uh yes like yesterday in game. Um so yeah, thank you. So I need fish ponds. Must have fish ponds. Plus, as long as you like get them to like breed and stuff. You basically have an infinite supply of fish.
I just realized something. I completely forgot to do a thingy. I will be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do that now. I forgot to put a, uh, a sticky comment. And I should save this on a sticky note for future use. Pin that message. Okay. <laughs> I completely forgot. But yeah, I've got a Discord server for all of you guys who want to join, who haven't joined. And the hoodie is a me repping a friend's merch that he re that like, he launched not too long ago. So check those out. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled programming. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it! It's only 2pm and I'm already exhausted. Hot thing. Oh, I also forgot that the um, hair mod that I like using got an update, so I just kind of want to check that out. Looks like it covered almost all of the hairstyles and added some new ones. These are cute. So that's definitely new. Yeah, a few of these hairstyles are new. <laughs> it's a blobfish that sometimes gives you pearls? Okay. Huh, looking at it, they combine most of the shell creatures into the same pool. Both clams and oysters have the same pool of seaweed and trash. Um, 
Man, if I had a nickel for every time I started character pass out from exhaustion. Honestly, that's why I kind of prevent myself from get passing out from exhaustion. Like, I'm okay with passing out at 2 a.m. That's fine. But like, if I'm in the middle of work, I will keep my character trucking. Octopus would be a better replacement for the oyster. 17% chance for 1 to 10 Omni Geodes. Alright. I'd have to catch an octopus. Which is a winter fish? I think. Let's change up our hairstyle. Let's go with this. You can catch them, especially those times you faint in the mines and Linus acts like he didn't just you your entire wallet. Okay, no, genuinely, when Linus is like, I found you passed out and stuff, someone was stealing your money, I don't think it was him. I genuinely think it was like someone from Joja, even Morris would just come over and take your money while you're unconscious. Someone from Joja would be that scummy to take advantage of an unconscious person. You can catch them in the deep water by the lonely rock, summer and winter at 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. Oh, okay, we'll do fishing tomorrow. Let's see if we can't catch an octopus. Oh wait, do they have like a... A fishing level requirement? Sun? plant any trees I have today. I don't have any trees. <laughs> I do have almost 300 wood. What time does Pierre's close? Like 5? 6? Because if I can get there before 6, if he closes at 6, if I can get there before 6, I can probably buy a tree sapling. Mr. Pierre, you're not here. Sadness. Hi, Elliot. Oh dear, my shoes are filled with sand. That's the trouble with living on the beach. Yeah, okay. Enjoying the weather instead of shopping. I mean, it's the summer, dude. He closes at five. I just, I, I just missed it then. Dang, that's unfortunate. Okay, 
I could go repair the bridge now, but I kind of want to have like at least a hundred left over. So let's keep chopping. So why is it so important that I plant any trees that I have today? Is it the rain? Will the rain help it grow faster or something? So octopus have no real fishing level, but they're the second most difficult to catch fish outside of legendaries. You can find them as a rare drop from trash cans in the summer. Yeah, I know that much. I'm looking mighty adorable. I was told the green rain is very fertile. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. I guess we'll see. Excuse me, Chili. I got Woody's secret. Felled trees have a 5% chance to yield double the wood. I just got a skill book. Or a, a book. A book. I learned a new power. Oh, that's cool. Almost over a hundred, but it'll have to do for now. I'll take my axe to get fixed up tomorrow, and I'll turn this in. I'll turn in everything I need to put into the thing. So I need five of these for the wild medicine. This to turn in this and that. That should be everything. Wait, what was it? Okay. Okay. Apparently you can also flat out buy an octopus during the night market. Great if you need to mate to another puss. I think they if you just put one, they have they'll just breed on their own, like just magically. A green rain has descended upon the valley. This is so fun and interesting. Whoa. Saw the weather report last night. I'm not sure what will happen, but if anyone wants to take shelter in the saloon, I'll keep it open all day. Gus. Okay, I need my scythe, and I need to have my axe for today. I'll take my pickaxe just in case, but it's about to get funky. This is so cool. Nasty all right? <laughs> also no game sound. Oh, you're right. I'm so sorry. I forgot to unmute it. Wow, that looks so cool. It, it does. It also kind of looks really gross because the rain is green. But like, it's cool. My brain is just like, this is so cool.
Also, tons of fiber. Hello. Chop that down. Get rid of that. Mixed flower seeds. An assortment of flower seeds. Plant them and see what grows. Mossy seed. This can be planted to grow rare wild trees. Ooh. I need to set up like a like a whole section for that. I'm saving that. I like the green overlay even in your house. Um, that's so fun. Let's go check on our chickens. Yeah, you guys stay inside. Don't touch the, the green rain. We don't know what it does. Moss rain. Um, I shouldn't have to worry about that. Oh, you can scythe the moss off the trees, too. That's good to know. These look like ginger island trees. <laughs> or like tropical kind of trees, you know? Oh wait, did the sprites change for all of the trees? They all look a little funky. Oh, it's a big rock, okay. Okay, so this is the cave farm. Farm cave. Did not want to hit that one. Sorry, little frog. There's so much stuff. Oh my goodness. Go, little froggy. So this is how you collect, like, a ton, a ton of moss. Whoa.
How did you get here, lady? Also, giant beanstalk? <laughs> um, crayfish? I think I need this for the crab pot bundle, so I'll go ahead and buy that. Corn seeds, tortilla, copper, bait, mead, hardwood fence, cauliflower, the dark throne, and a rare seed I'll buy. Thank you! Oh, that gives me Fiddlehead Fern. Ooh. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me let me scroll up. Let me scroll up. Oh, sorry. It's so green, I guess you could say it's radioactive. <laughs> makes you wish for a nuclear winter. <laughs> the green overlay makes me feel like there's some sort of alien activity happening, abducting the cows into the UFO or something. Yeah, very fertile. Bruh. But she'll have 300 plus fibers at the end of the day. The fiber economies in shambles. Yes, I bought the rare seeds. Spaghetti for $600, not worth it. And mead. No, I'm not buying the mead. <laughs> My god. <laughs> Yo, this valley? I love I love this weather event. That's that's so cool. I like how, for the first year when it happens, everybody's just like, what's going on? I should probably go to the saloon after I cut down this tree. Having these fiddlehead ferns early is so nice. One more tree, and then I'll go to the saloon. Fiber is mine. I'm gonna need a lot of it for something. I don't know what, but something. So I wonder if this all stays. That sounded so scary! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, Stardew Valley is a horror game. <laughs> the train passing through literally scared me. <laughs> Whoa, fancy. Oh my gosh, okay, everybody's here. Let's talk to everybody. I just got off the phone with the governor. Apparently this rain is supposed to be completely harmless, just an unusual phenomenon of nature. Still, some of the townsfolk are panicking, which is never good. I saw the weather report last night. It really gave me a scare. Yeah. It's situations like this where a person's true character is put to the test. What is that supposed to mean? I'll keep, um, I mean, I'll keep everyone safe from the toxic rain. Yeah, okay, bud. Are there monsters out there? What's happening? No, it's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Let's not get in a tizzy now. Gus, I propose a round of drinks to settle the nerves. You would take advantage of the situation. I don't think I've ever set foot in this place. It's actually kind of cozy. Wow, Haley, you've never been here? Oh, I'm not worried about the rain. I'm sure it'll pass. There must be a meaning behind this. Nature is trying to tell us something. Okay. 
What, though? I can't tell. It's hard to read. I feel a strong presence, though. Alright. There are some people who aren't here. I, I hope these weird rains don't bother the fish. It could ruin me life. It's a sign from the Almighty. We're doomed. Are you alright? We're all wondering what's going on. Yeah, I'm fine. I brought some medical supplies just in case. Be careful out there. I mean, there's... Y'all are... Silly. Valid, but silly. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. It's worth it. Spaghetti are good. I'm going to cry, no meat. They disappear tomorrow if you don't fell them. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, that was the train. Polar Express, the fiddlehead trees, I mean. Ah, okay. Run to the tavern. Drink the rain. That's not moss, that's a grandpa's ectoplasm. That's... that's gross. <laughs> What's going on out there? Any action? No? I gotta stay here with my grandparents. Okay. George? <laughs> George dear, is this the end? <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing! Uh, it's been a good life, but I'd like to see Alex find his way before departing. That's so sad! <laughs> there, there, honey. Don't you worry. Even if it is poisonous, I breathe in more noxious gas in one minute back in the old coal mines, and I'm still kicking. <laughs> I feel bad for laughing, but just... <laughs> I feel like, that's just so sad! <laughs> I feel so bad for laughing, though. I just... Because I was literally out there for hours running around in it and just, like, chopping trees and stuff. It was adorably sad. Yeah. Evelyn. Old head. Nah. I love Evelyn. She's a sweetie. I'm so curious. What... Everyone in Jody's house has to say. Mom, I want to go outside and play. Are you alright? We've never seen anything like this before. I'm perfectly fine. I wish my husband was here. He'd know exactly what to do. I don't think he would. What? Is it acid? Will it burn through the roof and sizzle us alive? I... How do I keep my little brother safe? That's... This is... This is funny. <laughs> like, in a sad way. I'm a horrible person for laughing. I've never seen green rain before. It must not be too dangerous if you made it here. You would be correct. I want to go exploring, but I can tell my mom is kind of worried, and I don't want to add to her stress. That's nice of you. Ah, no customers. Any more of this green rain and my, le my ledger will be in the red. Here, you are... no fun. I should get to Robin's. Evelyn is the goat grandma of all time. Okay, my comment was a bit was a bit dark, not gonna lie. Yeah, it was. That was kind of mean. How dare you say that to Granny? You kiss your grandma with that mouth. So the fiddlehead fern trees will disappear, but like all of the 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 fiber and stuff is gonna stay. Is that Demetrius? Don't mind me, Splash. I'm just collecting some samples. This may be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Um, if you see my wife, can you tell her I'm okay? I I like how you're not even questioning. It's like, shouldn't you not be out here? You're in a full-ass hazard suit.
Where is Robin? Are they in the basement? Is this the- oh my gosh, this is the one time I'm allowed to come in here without being friends with Sebastian. I want to go collect samples with my dad, but my mom is insisting we stay here. My mom's freaking out, but I'm actually kind of enjoying this. I bet the frogs are going wild out there. You would be absolutely correct. I'm gonna stay here to try and keep her calm, though. That man is insane! Why does he have to go out there? We have no idea if this rain is dangerous. Yeah. And Linus is in his tent. Oh, Linus is just outside, chillin'. All these strange trees will be gone tomorrow. It's one of mi the mysteries of nature. Okay, Linus. Whatever you say, old man. This is fun. I like this so much. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's just my brain is just like, this is amazing. Okay, the train came through town. This usually isn't open for me, and it shouldn't have been open yet. Oh, I should go visit the wizard. I won't have time though. I wonder if this will be closed tomorrow. Ooh, great! And I officially have everything I need to complete the uh, community center battle for the summer foraging. Let's go visit the wizard! So this has only happened once in a year? I wonder if it happens more than once. No! <laughs> I wanted to know what the wizard said. Fine. We can just um, farm all of this until I pass out then.
so I wonder if the villagers will have some afterward dialogue as well, but we'll see. I don't think they will, but I hope so. And we pass out. Yeah. Okay. Among Us Pierre is an asshole. He's literally the bad guy. <laughs> uh, stock of unfiddle heads will come in handy later. I would love to. I got 24. There should have been a... There should be an earthquake prompting its opening the train area. Oh, is that what the earthquake was for? Is it just me or is Haley kind of mean when she first meets the player? Like, when she asks about your cheap clothes. After this first time, it'll be a rare event. Not once a year rare, but about as rare as any other event. Okay, so it could happen multiple times a year. That's fun. I mean, yeah, Haley is mean. And honestly, I was watching a bunch of videos for Stardew Valley. And everybody's consensus for when you choose a, a bachelor or a bachelorette, if you want Alex, if you want to marry Alex, it's best to be a male farmer and marry him because his dialogue is way more uh, it, like better written because he has to come to terms. Like his character's arc is different when you're a male farmer romancing him because he has to come to terms with the fact that he's gay. And it's actually really cool. Um, otherwise, he just... It, it's the same kind of bland relationship if you're a female farmer. Splash, you're lucky I found you last night. Thank you, Linus. So my crops are going to be done a lot sooner <laughs> than they should have been. That's cool. I need these for the wild medicine. That was a really cool experience. I really liked that. Hitting the chickens. turn stuff into the Genius Center, shall we? Haley is mean at first, but when you date her, she kind of just becomes soft. She just becomes nice eventually. Yeah, like... So the trees did change. Cool. Cool. 
she yeah, she's like mean to you at first, but like once you befriend her and stuff, she's like, oh, you're not that bad. to the community center. Uh, crap pot. Bam. I just need one more thing. Like fish. Ocean fish. That's not complete. Assorted summer seeds. I needed the hops or something. I just forgot what. So I'm glad that I, I grabbed those. Does that open up the bank bundle? Nope, the bulletin board. Right, the bank is last. Excuse me, little Junimo. Spirit's Eve bundle. Ooh. <laughs> Enchanter's bundle, that looks normal. Field research is normal. And the Forager's bundle. I'm glad I kept those. Hunter, geologist, engineer. This place is perfect for Haley. Why? Because she's totally like a valley girl. I think that's the joke that Concerned Ape was trying to make. Kind of a hot take, but Haley best girl. No, it's not a hot take. <laughs> a hot take would be you going Penny best girl. Because <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, out of all of the bachelors and bachelorettes, Penny is the most boring. <laughs> Hello, Demetrius. What? <laughs> hmm, if stri strigolactone levels could be increased, would it have a proportional effect on mycorrhizal growth? Oh, sorry. I was pondering some data and I didn't notice either. Do you need anything? I. I don't think they have after dialogue, which makes me sad. Oh, they do! Oh, awesome! <laughs> 
If Demi I hope Demetrius is happy with the samples he collected. Seems like his little science project is more important to him than his own wife. Robin, I feel you. I get that. I understand. You're upset. Okay, so what do I need to make fish pots? And I need to build a silo eventually. 5,000 G, 200 stone, 5 seaweed, and 5 uh, green algae. So I think I'll first get the silo squared away. Hey, have any interesting farm stories to tell me? Guess not. Okay. Lukewarm take. <laughs> Penny is a disabled's worst nightmare. Sheesh. One of my old friends always dated the one with the purple hair. Forgot her name though. Uh, Abigail? He's talking shrooms. I have such a hard time. What the heck? Okay. How does the moss harvest go? Now my bed is a lot soft. My bed is a lot softer now. That's nice. Um, this is a great gift. Thank you. I don't. I'm not very picky. Well, no, I can't say that. I I, I have a hard time picking. Um, a bachelor or a bachelorette purely because it's like, not all of them really interest me all that much. I really like Sam. And Sebastian Elliot's eh. I can see the appeal of Abigail. I don't really get the appeal of Emily. Haley's alright. I feel like I'm missing someone. I like Shane's story, but once you go through it once, it's like, buh. Um, Maru has really nice cutscenes, and I think she's pretty good. And Leah too. Leah's alright. So, <laughs> those are my takes. You know what? Maybe I will romance Sam. I could also kind of hold off on romancing anyone and like maybe install Stardew Valley Expanded and see about that instead. But I don't know if it's... I, is it best to play Stardew Valley Expanded with a new save file? Yeah, Abigail. Abigail's a girl who never leaves Act 1. I've always picked Haley, not gonna lie. Shane is the proverbial I can fix him husband. That's exactly why I like him. <laughs> Cause it's just like his story arc is super nice. And when I think it's Stardew Valley expanded, it expands on his story even more. It's just like, oh, this is so nice. Um, hello Isabel. That guy in the beach shack is just a great value, Fabio. <laughs> Okay, so it is better to play Stardew Valley Expanded with a new save file. Okay. Um, and I think for this playthrough, I'll play um, with Romancing Sam. And then when I'm done with this, hopefully by then Stardew Valley Expanded and realistically the modding scene will come to like a bit of a standstill. Like 1.6 will be finished. So I hope. And then um, I'll play through Stardew Valley Expanded. Sounds like a good idea.
And I've got to waddle all the way to town again. And hope that Clint is still open by the time I get there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he closes at 4. Is it just me? Or does Abigail look a little pale? Hello, Jody. Oh, my dear. I'm so glad everything ended up okay and my flowers look healthier than ever. That's nice. I'm so I'm so happy for you, Evelyn. Well, the fish seem as healthy as ever. In fact, I swear they've been biting with extra vigor. Oh, man. I should have gone fishing today. Um, the other day, Emily baked something called a squirrel loaf. How'd it taste? Um, well, if my tail was a little bushier, I probably would have loved it. <laughs> mm, I smell a barbecue. Okay. Upgrade tools. This one, please. Two days. Stardew really is just the everything simulator. Life sim, farming sim, dating sim. Yeah, I mean, life sims are pretty much an everything sim. The main focus of this game is to be a farming sim, but if they didn't, if Concerned Ape didn't add the dating aspect, I'm pretty sure it would be extremely boring. Not to mention the fact that you can friendship all of the villagers and stuff. It adds, like, it makes you feel a little more a part of their community. Because imagine Stardew with just the farming aspect. No gifting, no making friends with the villagers. It would kind of feel, I guess, lonely. Because all you are is just a farmer. <laughs> I guess everyone in town was scared of that strange rain. I had no idea. I just thought it was incredible. Just wanted to talk. I am finding a lot of glasses. <laughs> I'm looking for someone to bring me five coals as part of a local geological survey. You can keep the co the ores or the coals after Clint inspects them. Okay, I can do that tomorrow. I'm surprised that you're still trying to make friends with me. Haven't I been rude enough to you yet? Like, sir, I'm a very persistent person. And also, a lot of head empty. I've got no brain cells. I guess. I am broke. <laughs> I was like, man, I'm gonna buy some beers. I'm broke. I can't do that. Sometimes I look for crawdads, uh, for crawdads in the river. Don't tell Aunt Marnie, but I fed one to a cow once. Hello. Um, the mountains look nice today, don't they? You are boring. <laughs> Dad's coming back soon. I hope he brings me some toys. Oh boy!
<laughs> yeah, sounds boring. Yeah, if it was just a farming sim, I think Stardew would be really boring. I think that's kind of what makes um a lot of zombie games kind of boring, because there's no, like, real goal outside of killing Zeds. And they'll be like, oh, I'll try to make it different. Let's add a Horde Knight, or let's make it so that you can customize them so they're stronger, or whatever. But, like, I don't know. I feel like zombie games with NPCs are interesting, and then even more so if you can, like, interact with those NPCs, hire them, talk to them, they have interesting dialogue, stuff like that. Basically an RPG. <laughs> I love RPGs because they're so interactive and they they craft a story with you as the main character. How many of those do I need? Five? And what do I need them for? Inside of... for crafting. Today's recipe. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce. I'm here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe for my secret cookbook. This week's dish, baked fish. Whenever I make this one at home, my two cats go bananas. I need a second chef around just to keep them from hopping on the counter for a bite. Just make sure the fish is fresh, preferably caught with your own rod. Now watch as I place the fish on a bed of spring greens. And I learned how to cook baked fish. I almost forgot to do this. I love RPGs too. They make things explode. <laughs> I remember seeing before in the task board thingy that where Haley needed a super cucumber, by far the most sus thing in the game. Um, there's a free 2000G item outside the bat- outside the bathhouse. Fish it out of the pool at- in the front. Is it like a painting or a statue? Because I know that there's an item in there. Pet chili. Give the dog water. Water the plants. I don't have enough to do the melons.
I should keep it going for a couple of days. Um, let's go do that thing. Let's water the melons first. It'll be so nice when I learn how to craft better sprinklers. Vista. Ah, uh, what? Uh, mm, Ten thousand? <laughs> I wonder if there's anything else in here. I think that's the thing I caught, but we'll catch one more thing just to be sure. Another one. Ah! Yay! You can just fish these up. Wait, I lied. I said 2k. Lamel. <laughs> Windows Vista? <laughs> no, we don't talk about Windows Vista. It's that, that's in the past. The, the future is now, old man. Am I only going to get two? Oh my gosh. <laughs> if I only get two, that would make me sad. <laughs> I think I'm only going to get two. I'll do one more fish. Yeah, I think I'm only going to get two. I'll sell one. <laughs> That's so good. 10,000. Easy. If I can sell them, to be honest, actually. But first, we must go speak to Clint. What's up, weird dude? You brought the ores I requested. Great. These ores look to be of good quality. You can keep them, of course. I just wanted to see how the local geology is doing. And here's your payment, as promised. 275. I'm so used to using the um, seasonal outfits mod that like seeing everybody walk around without like summer clothes on is weird to me. Greetings, Demetrius here. Could someone please bring me wheat? I'm studying them as part of my biology research. No. All right, it's... <laughs> let's, let's see, let's see, let's see. I can't sell them. I will buy another poppy seed though. Seven days. 
So it'll be ready on summer 14 if I planned it today. I feel like I should make some popcorn. I'm gonna do it. Uh, you should. You should have got your snacks earlier. <laughs> Can I sell it here? Nope. I get two $10,000 paintings that I cannot sell. I love when the whole kitchen smells like a movie theater. I love the smell of buttered popcorn. It smells so good. But I do not like eating popcorn. <laughs> What are the odds? <laughs> Seems like there's no damage to anything. That was a strange one. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Hi there, miss. Okay, I wanna go see... Yes. Well, because he's out here, I can't go in there. I wanted to go see um, what all the uh, bobbers were that I had unlocked. That's what. We'll try again tomorrow. Is it because it gets in your teeth, or you just don't like the taste of it? I love the taste of buttered popcorn. It's mainly because it gets in my teeth, and I really don't like it when the uh, kernel shells gets lodged in between my gum and my tooth, because that shit hurts. <laughs> um, and I had braces when I was much younger, so I wasn't allowed to eat popcorn, so it's just kind of... Eating popcorn isn't my thing. I really do like the um, popcorn chips that they make, like the popcorners. Those are really good. Did it? 
I'm gonna sell these torches. in the chicken coop. I'll turn this into Jody tomorrow. sleep nonetheless. Yeah, I've never had to get braces. I feel lucky. Um, I don't know. Some people need them, some people don't. I didn't really need them, but I wanted them because I thought I looked really cute in braces. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, it looks like I'm dropping a lot of frames, so <laughs> y'all know what that means. Today is Gus's birthday, but... I don't want to watch you guys watch a really stuttery framey mess <laughs> so I'll have to end stream here we'll continue on Wednesday because I I'll st I stream in case you didn't know I stream every Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday Sunday Tuesday and Thursdays I take days off but um yeah I want to thank you guys so much for coming to hang out um, Sun Seal, thank you for showing up. And Pew Pew, Matt from Wii Sports. Um, Isabella was here. Alex was here. I know that much. Let's see who else showed up. Um, Daft Desu as well. Thank you so much. Don't forget that if you haven't joined my Discord server, uh, the link is posted right there and in with the description of the video. And I will catch you all next time. Have, well, actually, I should really say, make sure to stay hydrated and have the best rest of your day. And I'll see you all later. <laughs>